Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus 3D Shallow Foundation course from theory to practice. This is lesson 25, uh, numerical simulation of the watering with excavation using Plaxus uh, 3D. Suppose we have uh, uh, an example like this, we have a shallow foundation located about one meter below the ground surface and uh, in some uh, cases when the water table is uh, shallow and located near the ground uh, surface for example in this tutorial the water table uh, this uh, line the straight blue line is located which is a uh, ground water level and located 0 0.5 meter below the ground surface so uh, for construction of uh, this uh, isolated footing, we have to excavate one meter below the ground surface, uh, and after that we will uh, install this uh, foundation. But uh, the problem is in uh, this situation, uh, the, uh, the excavation uh, is below the ground water. So uh, if we excavate uh, one meter below the ground surface and uh, 0 0.5 meter or half meter of this excavation will be filled with uh, water so during the excavation we have to dewater the excavation or we have to lower the water table so in this example I'm going to explain how can we dewater the water table uh, below the excavation I will not change any other thing and I think uh, it's okay we can uh, start the calculation and calculate all faces again okay the calculation again is uh, finished and right now we will uh, see the results when we use uh, the dewatering so as you can see in here this is a deformed shape so if we uh, hide the surface load we can see we don't have any other load so uh, this is the water load also so as you can see when I uh, activate or deactivate it we don't have any water load uh, on the foundation because we lowered uh, the water uh, level in the uh, staged construction uh, mode also we can uh, see the ground water uh, the ground water the active pore water pressure so as you can see in here as you can see in here the uh, water the active pore water pressure take uh, this uh, shape as we used in uh, as you can see in here uh, take this uh, similar shape because uh, we used uh, the the user water level which has uh, this uh, shape also and again we can uh, extract the uh, load uh, settlement care for uh, this uh, case also so uh, this is the, uh, the load settlement curve when we use uh, the borehole water level and we can add uh, uh, we can add the uh, load settlement curve uh, when we use the user water level again also so we can add uh, two uh, curves uh, in uh, one figure so we can add from uh, add curve right click on it and add curve from the current project and it will be the similar so again we have to deactivate these construction modes so as you can see uh, this one is when we uh, lowered the water table we can see so the settlement uh, the amount of settlement or displacement is uh, lower than the uh, previous case when uh, we use the borehole water level so this is due to uh, the water load on the foundation so again we can uh, uh, export uh, this data to the excel and i ha already have uh, done it as you can see uh, the right one is uh, the load uh, settlement curve when we use the user water level or uh, the lowered water uh, level and the blue one is uh, the 
global water level or the borehole water level so i hope it was clear and uh, see you thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next lesson